Are you wondering how to get VTube Studio into your stream? Well, let's get started. This video assumes that you have already imported your model and set up either your webcam or iPhone tracking. So if you need help doing that, I made a video detailing everything you'll need linked in the card and video description. There are three primary ways you can get your model into your preferred streaming program. As I'm only familiar with OBS and Streamlabs, those are the two I will be demoing today. The first method is the chroma key. VTube Studio comes with a default green screen background, which you can add as a game capture to your streaming program. To do this, you will click the plus sign under sources, select game capture, title it whatever you want, change the mode to specific window, and then change the window to VTube Studio. If everything is done correctly, it will now appear under your sources and on your screen. You will then right click on that source and go to filters, click on the plus sign there and select chroma key. You can choose the type of color you will be filtering out, which depends mostly on what colors your model is using. You can then adjust all the sliders to get your desired result. This used to be the primary method, but recently there was an update to VTube Studio, which allows transparent backgrounds. To use this feature, you will need to be on the color picker background in VTube Studio, which will open a prompt telling you to enable transparent backgrounds in your streaming software. To do this, you can double click on the source that we already added and click on allow transparency. If you still have your chroma key applied, reopen filters and you can remove it by either deleting it or clicking on the eyeball to hide it. Now, something I did notice is the background of the color picker does seem to affect your model. So I would recommend changing it to a white or black background to ensure your model doesn't have any discoloration. The downside to the two previous methods is you will still have the VTube Studio UI appear on screen if you open the menu. If you would like to avoid this, you can instead use the virtual camera feature. To do this, you must first navigate to the settings and turn it on. The virtual camera should come pre-installed, but if it isn't, you can simply click on installation help and follow the steps listed here. To add the virtual camera to your stream, we once again go to sources and click on the plus sign, but this time we will be adding a video capture device. Name it what you want and select the VTube Studio Cam as the device. You may notice some pixelation when you add it, in order to fix this, you will need to manually set the resolution of the studio cam to the native resolution of the monitor that VTube Studio is currently open on. You will now be able to open the menus without the UI appearing on screen, but as a drawback, you cannot send a transparent background through as a video source, so you will need to use the chroma key method to remove it. I personally now use the transparent background method but I recommend you try all three just to see what gives you the best results. If this video helped you, drop a like and let me know what you'd like me to cover next time. Also join our Discord where I'm usually available for any questions you might have. I'll see you next time.